fans, welcome to Reign of Reviews, but sort of just mini. Today I'm going to be unboxing a new Finfolk octopus circlet, and I'll give you my first impressions review. So it's a mini review. It's not a big one because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And I've got some help from Pinky today. Pinky is um, a rescue cat that we've had for almost four years now. She was born deaf. And because she was born deaf, she was at risk for some extra health problems, and she ended up having a genetic disorder in her mouth, which meant that she's had to have all of her little teeth pulled except for four. And we are about to pull out the rest of them, which is going to be not nice for her and not nice for us when we have to try to shove uh, medicine in her mouth and the vet bill. <laughs> We've got some pet insurance, so it won't be as painful, but it's still not fun. But this is part of being a responsible pet owner. And she decided to come up here for the video, so I thought she could be part of it with me. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but she's purring and it's pretty adorable. Okay, so my package arrived today from the United States and I'm in Canada, which means it had to go through customs, which always takes a little bit of extra time. But still, from the time I ordered it to the time I got it has been like 42 days. <laughs> I was a little shocked that it took that long considering it was pre-made. I watched this package on tracking sit in Kentucky for like four days. I don't know what was happening in Kentucky, but I thought that somebody in the postal service was gonna end up taking a picture and showing it to me with it on them. It's kind of hit or miss if you get charged custom fees if you are international and you're buying something from another country. Uh, the value of this was $120 USD, however I got a discount code for 25% off I think it was. So I think I ended up paying $111 USD. Yeah, Pinky wants me to open it. Um, I was a little surprised that it came in an envelope and I'm kind of like, I hope nothing's broken. <laughs> so we'll look into it, but anyway, hey Pinkerton. Thank you. Let's see, I'm excited. Simpoke are so talented. I really like the idea of an octopus circlet because I have an octopus top and I got this in my signature colors as you will see. It was hard to choose though. There was a lot to choose from. You gonna watch me scissors? Thanks. I'm gonna be covered in cat fur. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, so I got $24 off on the discount, which was great. So I paid $96 USD plus $15 shipping, so $111. So that's not bad at all. I think I got it on sale. It's kind of nice. Good to have that. If you're a mermaid, you should be keeping all of your receipts because you can claim them at tax time if you claim your income. Let's take a look here, Pinky. It's your favorite. She can't hear it can't hear it. <laughs> what do you think? Should we open it? It matches your pretty blue eyes. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is really cool. The first thing I noticed is that the tissue paper actually has Finfolk's branding on it. How did you girls manage to do that? How did you get Finfolk branded tissue paper? That is amazing. I love it. I like that it's paper too, it's better than bubble wrap. For the environment. I feel like I'm opening a present, even though I paid for it. <laughs> I don't think it's like really rough. It's getting all twisted. Here you go. Oh my, wow, that is way redder than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised that it's so red. I guess red is the base that they did and then they put the colors on top of it. I guess when I was looking at the pictures, oh, here we go already. I can't blame that on Finfolk. The cat's already doing it. <laughs> That's okay. Because one of the things I was going to say is that I'm going to replace the ribbon with elastic. I knew that when I bought it um, because I know that ribbon doesn't stay in my hair. So I am going to replace it with elastic. 
Um, so yeah, I guess when I was looking at the pictures online, I thought that it was orange silicone as a base and then they put the other colors on top, but I guess it's really quite red. Um, so it's supposed to be like a gradient. You can see from the back. Yes, Pinky, I know you like the ribbon. She's really cute. She's a great helper. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot to... I'm so used to my organic armor circlets and they're latex, so they're a bit stiffer and I wasn't, I don't know, I've never had a silicone circlet before, so I, um, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so rubbery, which is so silly, I should. I know what silicone feels like. I've only been wearing it for a decade. Look, you're so pretty. Here, do you want to be the first one to wear it? You can be like your new, your new um, belt. There you go. It's a really expensive belt. Yeah, she just wants, all she wants is the ribbon. <laughs> all right, I've already sufficiently got it covered in cat hair. That's the thing about, um, how, geez, longest unboxing in history. So it looks like it's pigmented with a gradient. There are these little um, beads on the end. It's pretty neat. You see that there. So there's a few different ways you can wear this. So one is, oh man, this actually looks really cool with my hair color. It goes really well with my complexion, I think. So I can have it up like this. Some people have been wearing them. Oh man, that's actually really cool too. Maybe like a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if I would wear it on my neck because I think the head looks kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. Some people wear it like that. Some people have been putting it on their arm as an armband. I'm actually surprised. It's because I have a big friggin' forehead. I was worried that it was gonna like look too big on my head. No, I have, I call it the, I call it the pumpkin head. I have a pumpkin head. <laughs> So some people have been wearing it on the arms, and I think some people have been putting it on like a belt too. It's actually, actually that is really cool as a belt. I would literally wear that. I would wear that with like, these are like high-waisted. Yeah. Like I would like. That's kind of cool. I like that. On the top of your tail. Man, I'm gonna have to buy a second one of these. So I normally like to wear circlets um, to cover where I put the wig tape right here and I usually leave a little bit of extra lace front there so that uh, it has more to grab onto and I, then I don't want you to see the lace front so I'll usually put it right at my hairline. I'm actually so surprised at how good this looks for me. I'm so glad I picked this color. I wonder what it looks like with my hair down. I might just try to tie it. I'm not gonna be able to tie it well. I might not even need to change it to elastic. I thought I would have to. I'm totally tying all my baby hairs into it right now. This is so nice. I have to be honest with you guys, I didn't have any expectations when I bought this. I feel like sassy mermaid aunt. <laughs> Take the hair down. It might need some styling, I don't know. All right, I don't have a wig on right now. This is my hair, all disheveled. That is actually, man, Finfolk, you found a way to make my giant forehead look cool. <laughs> I love it. I even still have room to put like glitter stickers here if I wanted to. That's how big my freaking forehead is. Yeah, I love it. And I like it that it looks good with my hair down and my hair up. That's pretty cool, I can't wait to try it with the wig. Well, so far, my impressions are that it's very beautifully crafted. I was a little taken aback by how red it is, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my complexion and my hair, I think the red is actually really good. I don't know if I'll keep the ribbon or not. I might take it off and change it for an elastic because my other circlets are elastic. It did take a really long time to get here. I thought that they were pre-made, maybe it wasn't pre-made, maybe it was made to order. I, I can never keep straight because sometimes they have sales and they're selling stuff that's pre-made and then sometimes it's made to order. But yeah, I actually really like this and I could totally see myself going downtown <laughs> with one of these on. 
I like it so much that I would totally consider getting a second one. It just seems to work with my face shape, which is so unusual for somebody like me because I have such a round, squishy face with such a big forehead that normally things don't work with it. They're made for people with smaller faces, but I like it. Do you want to get a close-up of the details? I love it. Okay, well that is my unboxing and my first review, mini review. I'll have to get back to you after I've actually used it. Please like and subscribe, click the bell if you want to get notifications, and please check us out on Patreon. If you've seen my previous videos, YouTube is demonetizing people left, right, and center, so we do not make any monies off these videos, and it's not that I'm out here trying to get rich, I'm just a fish trying to get a couple sand dollars to pay for the expenses of running the online show. Things like the backdrop, things like the lights, things like the microphones, the stands that we use to put the cameras on, hosting fees, URL fees, that kind of stuff, and just like the cost of trying to review things too. I bought this with money that I actually earned through all my viral articles, which is really cool because I get paid now for my articles, which is amazing, and the photo use and everything like that. So that's actually what I bought this from. I got a magazine in the UK and they paid for it. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, thank you so much for checking it out. Best fishes! Give that a second. Thanks, Luna. So after taxes and shipping and everything, I think I paid $111 USD. I'll say that again once the food comes out. Why is it coming out at 517? Is it gonna stop? I'll say that again. They cannot stand when the attention's not on them. Do you guys mind? Seriously? Thank you.